Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me a photo, uh, and I've already deleted it because uh, I sent them this uh, file. And this is, they wanted to create something like this to print on a t-shirt. And this, to me, I wish I could print on t-shirts. That would be cool. But let's just, uh, let's just use font. And I would suggest using a thin font. There's a lot out there. I have one that's just called line. And sometimes you have to click back from the pen tool or from the pick tool to get that. I don't know that it matters, but we're going to go to object and convert it to a curve. Then I'm going to draw a little bitty circle, an ellipse, not very big. And I'm going to fill it in with blue. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to right click, no outline. Then I'm going to grab the interactive fill tool. And I'm going to fill it like this. I'm going to grab this red. I'm making it a little bit different. And then you can see you can bring the slider and bring this and make it redder in the middle. And then you can, well, that's not very pretty. Um, let's add some yellow. There we go. Now we can actually double click on there and, and add a third color. And then you just kind of play around with your slide back and forth till you get whatever color you want. That's not the prettiest. And, and you could do a lot of, you know, different things to it with the, the blend or the interactive fill tool. Let's just call that good. And then just take that and control D and make a duplicate of it and move it over anywhere. Let's get it down here near our font. And then go to effects, blend, and we're going to blend 100 times. Then we're going to go right here to new path and we're going to put on the path. Then we're going to put blend along full path and hit apply. You can see it's not enough, but then you can go and let's make this 200 and hit apply. And now you got plenty. But what I would do, because I noticed in the first one I did, if you look real close, you can see the font. So what I would do is go to object, break the blend apart grab the blend and, and nudge it down. Now we lost the start and the end. I don't think it really matters, but you can nudge that down, nudge that down, and then just don't use this font. And there you have, this isn't a very pretty one, but uh, it would look cool on a t-shirt. Anyway, I hope that answered their question. And thank you for watching.